What's going on guys? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt and should the Colts release Mo Alley Cox? Now I'm going to give you guys my thoughts in just a minute but before I do if you're new if you haven't already I would greatly appreciate if you would click the subscribe button click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video. If you like the video smack the like button leave your thoughts in the comments down below let me know what you would do and follow me on Twitter horseshoe underscore pod link in the description down below. Now, entering free agency this upcoming Wednesday, after using the franchise tag on Michael Pittman Jr., the Colts, they're going to have about $49 million to spend. Now, you got to save about $10 million because you got to sign the rookies that you draft. So really, when you factor that in, the Colts are going to have about $39 million. In my opinion, that's not a lot of money because you got players that you got to bring back and you also got to bring players in. Now, there have been some people suggesting, hey, what if we release Mo Ali Cox? Because if you release him, you're going to save $6 million. That $6 million could be used towards secondary, which is something I think they have to address. I think they have to bring in a veteran for secondary, whether it be a corner, safety. I think both positions should be addressed with a veteran. So... You can use that $6 million towards that. Now, I like Mo. I really do like Mo. Um, great story. You know, played basketball at VCU. You know, decides he's going to play football undrafted. Gets signed by the Colts. And he's been pretty solid. You know, has he been phenomenal? No, he's made mistakes. But he's had some good games for us. And he's been pretty solid pretty much every single year that he's played for us. So, I like Mo Ali Cox. But with that being said... Should they bring him back? My opinion is no. I don't think they should bring him back. I think they should cut him, let him go, find another team to play for. Um, I think he'd take that $6 million and he'd use it towards free agency. If our tight end room wasn't great, I would say, yeah, we got to keep him. But I like our room. Jelani Woods, I think, is going to be really good. I have a lot of confidence in what he could do. I think the potential is sky high with Jelani Woods. I think Kylan Granson is a good number two tight end. I like what I saw from Will Mallory. I think Will Mallory during his rookie year played good football. And then you got Drew Ogletree as well, whose you know, charges have been dropped. He's still on the commissioner exempt list, but if he's taken off of it, as long as the Colts feel comfortable with the research they've done, I think he's going to come back. I think they're going to keep him, let him play out his contract, then they'll go from there. So, I mean, you got those four guys right there. I don't really think you need to bring Mo back. I don't really think Mo brings anything to the table that none of these guys have. I think everything Mo can do, other guys can do as well. You got the tall tight end with both Jelani Woods and Drew Ogletree. Jelani Woods is more athletic than Mo Ali Cox. Uh, Kylan Granson is a good route runner. Um, Will Mallory, you know, he can block pretty well. Uh, Jelani can as well. So I don't really see Mo as somebody that brings something to the table that none of these tight ends have. And when you look at this team and the positions that you have to address and the money you have, that $6 million is very, very valuable and can be used for at least one player. So, in my opinion, again, I like Mo. I think he's going to go find another team, but I do think you have to let him go. Now, with that being said, what is Chris Ballard going to do? Because at the end of the day, what I think they should do, what you think they should do, it doesn't matter. What ultimately matters is what Chris Ballard would do. And in my opinion, I think Chris Ballard is going to let Mo Ali Cox go. I think he's going to release him. Because, again, it's the money. I think he realizes that you add a couple pieces to this team with how close they were to making the playoffs. I think they can make the playoffs. And with how close that division was, I know Houston is good. But this team does have a shot to win the division. I think Houston's going to be really difficult to beat. I think they're the front runners right now, even over Jacksonville. But you add a couple things, you make some tweaks, I think this team can be a threat to win the division and maybe even a little more than that. So I think because of what we need to address, 
Chris Ballard is going to release Mo Ali Cox. That's my opinion. I I'm just taking a guess. Plus, if Brock Bowers is available, I think he's taking Brock Bowers. Um, Brock Bowers would be just another receiving threat for Anthony Richardson, and uh, he's a special player. So I, I think Chris Ballard is going to let Mo go, address positions that should be addressed, and then I think he's going to go ahead, if available, draft Brock Bowers. If not, he'll probably go receiver or something like that. I would hope edge, but, you know, we'll see. Um, but, yeah. At the end of the day, I think Chris Ballard is going to release Moali Cox, and I think the Colts should release Moali Cox. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. If you're new, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click the subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, follow me on Twitter, horseshoe underscore pod. There is a link in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt. Bleed blue, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.